Hi everyone, this is Ida of Created to Create. Welcome back to my channel. I have a project share. I have been working on this for a really long time. And I finally um, sat down and finished it. Uh, I had kind of been putting it off because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. And, you know, I put in six, six uh, signatures or pages but each is double-sided so I had to decorate 12 of them plus the inside of the front and the inside of the back plus the outside of the front so that was a lot of die cutting and trying to come up with different ideas but I finally got it done one of the things that I was trying to accomplish was using just one collection to to do the whole uh, mini album and I think I accomplished that except for maybe one, I think it was just one thing that I used that's not, or one design that I used that wasn't Carnation Crafts. So this is what I use. It's called uh, The Glow of Christmas by Carnation Crafts. And you get a bunch of beautiful dyes. I will actually pull those out and share them with you uh, as I go through the album. As a matter of fact, let me grab them really quick. So that way you guys can see what I used. Um, yeah. That way I can share with you uh, what I used. But I did use some other ones that were not uh, of this collection. I used some um, like regular ones that were for other collections. But it still worked for me. I don't know if this angle is straight or not. Uh, but it still worked for me. So in the front, they have this beautiful die that is called a, I think it's called the Wreath Card Maker. But let me make sure. It's called the Christmas Wreath Card Shape. So I'm going to share that one with you. And I'm going to just put it in sideways because it's huge. So this is the Christmas Wreath Card Shape. And this is what I use uh, to do my whole album. So my book is shaped like this die. Uh, it's so pretty. It has, you know, all the layering pieces. It has the artwork to it in different colors. I chose the, actually, I think it, yes, in different colors. I chose the red. So there is different artwork for this. But the promotion they had when this came out was if you bought the whole set, you would get all the artwork for free. Uh, they would give you a code, and I did that, so I was able to get all the artwork uh, for free as a bonus. So this is the shape of my mini album. Let me move it aside. I was trying to make room on my desk. Uh, that way I can see what you guys are seeing. So that's what I use. Here is that ornament piece. Um, here is that whole frame with the bow on it, as you can see. There's the bow, so that's what you're seeing here. And then these piece, this piece in the center is this top portion right here on my card. And then all the layering pieces are the layering pieces to that die set as well. Outside in the front, I actually added a half of an ornament. And this is not a small one. It's a bigger size ornament. I added a half of it because I wanted to add uh, for it to be a shaker and to have artificial snow in it. And the image on the inside, I hope you can see it, is the little village that they have with the North Star. And it's got the mountains with the snow caps. And uh, I didn't add glitter to it, even though it sparkles, but my snow had glitter in it. So let me show you that little uh, village. I know I grabbed all of it. Okay. I forgot that the little village is in a larger. That little village is this one right here. And this one comes with the setting, uh, setting the scene uh, die set. And here it is, all, everything that you get in here. You get really nice corners, just a bunch of beautiful artwork. You have the Christmas trees in all different colors. It's just beautiful. You know, I really didn't have to worry about coloring in or anything. So this little village here is the one that that is inside the dome. 
And let me set that aside. And then the um, the Santa is here's the Santa right here. So it's, he's called Father Christmas, and he's got all the layering pieces and everything to him. Uh, like I said, I chose to do red, and I did add glossy accents to his belt and to his boots to make them look shiny like patent leather. And as you can see, the bag, the toy bag is hanging off the edge, but I did add a piece of like package um, acetate, so it's very, very uh, sturdy. So even if this were to get bent or and rip or whatever, it won't fall off because it's actually mounted on acetate, on very thick packaging acetate. Now, the one that I used from last year's is this Maya Deer. And uh, they have a set, I don't remember what it's called, uh, from last year. And it had the two reindeers, Magnus and Maya. So this is uh, Maya. This is the female one. So that's what I used there. And it is all layered up because all their pieces do have decoupage. And then here's the little Christmas tree. And this Christmas tree came from setting the scene. So here's the tree that I used throughout my book. So when I show you the, the Christmas tree, that's where it is. Now, all these berries and pine needles and this poinsettia right here came from a different die that was not part of the collection, but it did come out at the same time. So everything coordinates, which is the wreath, Christmas wreath maker. And um, so here are the poinsettias. So you're going to see all this throughout my book. The poinsettias, the pine needles, even some of the pine cones, the mistletoe, the berries, candles. So all of that came from here. And was, what this makes is a wreath. It's got little slits in it. Look at that, guys. I didn't find a place to use this. So I just kind of put it together and didn't use it. Um, but it's beautiful. So that's what all the little uh, tuck-ins, that's where they're from. That way I don't have to keep show, sharing it with you, uh, showing it to you. And that's what I did here. I added the poinsettias, berries, pine needles. I stickled everything up. And I, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's dry. The stickles are dry. I just literally completed it this morning. On the bow, it does have the gold edges. But I did go around the gold piece, edge, the gold edges with some gold stickles. Yep, they're dry. So that's what I did there. And the closure is a red satin ribbon. Uh, the reason I use this color is because the bow is so vivid. Uh, but on the inside, I think it looks more of a little bit more burgundy than it does on the outside. So I'm going to open it up to the first page. This is pretty thick, guys. Here is the first page. I think I'm far enough away that you can see. So on the first page, I did incorporate some beautiful lace that my friend Jackie had gifted me. A little piece of burgundy and gold trim that my friend Meg gifted me. And then here are some of the pine cones from the, from the, let's see. This might be a different one. So the pine cones come from this frame right here. This is a beautiful frame and uh, so that's this one right here. And it has all the layering pieces. So I kind of just decoupage one of the pieces and added it to the corner right here. Let's see if we can move this way a little bit. So I added it to the corner there. And, um, and inside all I did was add a couple. This one is also uh, from this collection. Let me share that one with you. So I used tons and tons of dyes, guys, to create this album so that's why it took me a very long time but i use this one right here is called for the season sentiments and these are large sentiments so i was only able to use it here because a lot of times when we do like a mini album for photos you know the spaces are smaller but i was able to use it here in the cover and just add a little uh holly right there but it's all these three sentiments that come in this set and they all have layering pieces so here it is but they're like i said they're pretty large so I use that for the sentiment right here. It does have the artwork. So I just printed it out and lined it up and cut it out. But this is a pocket. For my photo mats, I really didn't do anything. I just cut them out in white and embossed them with different um, embossing folders that I had. Because Carnation Craft doesn't have any yet. 
someday. And uh, then I added some of the uh, little fillers from the wreath maker on here. So this is actually would be the back of the, the photo mat and this would be the front. So I did add a little um, a little tuck in spot where you can add a photo in the top corner and the bottom and I did the same here. So this is the side where the photos would go. And I'm going to put those back in here. This one right here. Again, these backing papers that I used here that have that are print or designs are from their free paper uh, that you get. Uh, they have free backing paper that you can download. It's digital. Uh, so you don't have to wait for them to ship you anything. You can download them instantly and use them. So I printed out several to use in this project. So here is that beautiful frame. This one right here. It's called the classic Christmas frame. So here are all. Here's that photo corner that I use. Here are all the layering pieces. Beautiful, beautiful. So, and then I added Magnus is on the front and Maya is on the inside. So these are the deers from last year's collection. I did uh, decoupage everything to layer it up. And this is actually, I thought I had left a little card up here. I must have put it away so I can share with you. I have something here. So I can share with you that um, this is has acetate in the front and you can slide a picture inside so it does have an opening for a picture in here and then you can pull it out and add pictures the snow the uh, snowflake right here is also just a piece that is a tuck in for a photo um i did make pockets but to be quite honest i didn't i couldn't even get photo mats to go in there because the paper that i use is so thick that makes the pockets really really tight and um, that's why there is a thumb index here. But you could add like um, like journaling. You could add that in there if you wanted to. But I was having trouble putting photo mats in there. So I, I just left it. But all this paper is from their free downloads. And then there's a tuck spot for that photo. And then you not only have pictures to uh, room for pictures on this side. It's one, two, three, four, but you also have them on the other side. So you have three more over here that you can add. So that's that one. For the next page, I used uh, the lantern right here. This is this one. It's called, it's a kerosene lamp and it does have all the layering pieces, the mats and layers, and then the, um, I'm going to say the more, uh, this really isn't uh, open, but it does have all the cut work in it to, to, you know, make it realistic. So I use this lamp right here. I did add glossy accents to the top part. And then here are all the tuck-ins from the uh, different um, designs that they have. Uh, this is a tuck spot for a photo. So I added just this tag. And I did print out there. The, these are the ones that I use that are not from this design. I used two, which uh, were for photo mats. These actually have the corners cut out where you could slide a photo in. Uh, so that's what's here. And on the back, I embossed it. Uh, the reason I tucked this tag in here, sometimes when you, by the time I get to the end of my book, I forget where all my tuck spots are. So I kind of just left that one there. But this one opens up this way. For you to add photos and then it also opens up this way and you can add more photos that's why i tucked this in there it's really tiny and it for little bitty pictures but it has the corners where you can put a photo there and then you can also open it up like this and add more photos to the front and to the back so there's plenty of room for photos here. This is from the dies that I shared with you with the sentiments. It says warm wishes. I didn't do the artwork on that one. I just cut it out in a gold foil. And then this is one of my most favorite, uh, favorite ones from this collection, which is this card shape right here. It's called Winter Flora Frame. Again, it's got the intricate die and then it has all the mats and layers not for the, not only for the inside of the 
not only for the outside of the the frame but also for the inside so you could cut it out or leave it not cut it's it's totally up to you and then it's got all the layering pieces for the flowers that you see in the front so some of these are i used in my project as well but here's the frame and uh, you can only add one picture to this because you know, when you make a round photo album, it's it's a little difficult to create spots for photos. But this is open, where and it does have acetate where they can, someone can stick a photo in there, and then it comes out again. These are the the free digital downloads, and I didn't uh, waste anything. This one I didn't decoupage it because I already had decoupage going on on this side, and sometimes it kind of gets caught up. And so it wouldn't bend. I did. I left this flat. But this does have layering pieces that go to it. So here is the next one. This is the wreath that I used in the front with uh, eliminating the top. Again, I just added a a uh, Christmas package right here. It is open for you to slide a photo in. It does have acetate. And then this one is like a waterfall again here are these mittens let me share these with you these are the mittens they're called warm and fuzzy they do come with different color artwork that's why this one is pink and this one is gray so you get different ones and you do get a layering and the intricate for that one and all i did to this was you just slide this to the side and here is that little window from that uh, winter that village scene creator the scene creator so that's the little window to that that is open for a small photo you can see where the white is in there so that is open for a photo and then here are all the layering all the waterfall feature for all the photos so you can add quite a bit on here the christmas trees are just merely decoration and you slide this back and it holds it in place so there's that one on this other side I used an older die and I don't think I pulled it out funny not no I don't think that I pulled it out uh, this is uh, from last year's the ornament and uh, the only other thing that I used that was not from this collection is because I don't have one is this little bird because I didn't have one but these are uh, photo for photos so you can open them up and they're staggered in different heights so one might have two pieces of dimensional tape and one might have one where they look like they're at different levels but all of them are to hold pictures you can easily add you know a round picture to them and and kind of the the foliage is holding it in place except for this one then I added just a little gold bowl. Again, I printed the artwork and cut it, lined it up and cut it out. Here is the other one. And this one is um, actually my friend Jackie sent me these die cuts. And I don't recall what this one is called, but it is by Carnation Craft. Here are the little candles, a bunch of little uh, fillers from the wreath maker and just different things from uh, all the collection. I did add some metal corners on this and, and a piece of, from you can see tucking out right, you know, peeking out is the a little corner piece from the lace that I used. And this one, you open it up and you can add photos. There's room, room for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you have room for seven photos. Um... And you just close them all back up and there is the front so i really love this page i love this one i like them all but i have to say this is one of my favorites this one right here is not a snow globe although it looks like a snow globe it is not a snow globe that one is the card cradles that um i added a circle die cut to make it look like a snow globe so you get two different designs you have the the filigree work or the intricate detail cut and then you get have the mats and layers for both uh, different styles and uh, this actually is not even glued on it's just a pocket so here is 
where you would mount the photo and it is open right underneath here for you to tuck your photo in I'm not going to put that in there because I really don't want to bend it out of shape or anything. But this is that top piece for the ornament that I used in the front. And this is one of their artworks. I did bring it into another uh, one of my um, uh, software things because I needed to make the house bigger. Because this is actually a card. And I wanted to cut it out round. So I had to kind of stretch it to make it bigger. So because I wanted to put that image inside. Again, these are the fillers. I added some flat back pearls. And this is open for you to uh, adhere your picture to this. And it does have acetate. And that way you can slide your uh, photo in here. And there is where your photo would go. And then, of course, you would add it in here, put it in this pocket, and it looks like a snow globe. So I did the same thing on both, but I'm not going to leave this in here because I like having an image there. I kind of just tucked it in the back. And this is a pocket, so you could probably tuck more in here, but I only did the one. And I did add the uh, berries, uh, the flatback pearls to the... What do you call mistletoe and then I added some flowers here kind of layered up I love the way it looks and then finally we get to the last one so as you can see guys I did a lot of die cutting and trying to come up with different ideas on um, this page right here and it doesn't lay flat not because it wouldn't lay flat but because of the dome that I the half globe that I put in the front that's why it doesn't lay flat so this right here is a photo mat area where you could slide in your pictures it's open on either side this piece does come with in the die collection that I shared with you and then I did leave a pocket back here so there's another photo map in the pocket here now this opens up and you can add photos there 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 and I added these just in white so you can just tuck a photo in these areas I love the way it came out and it does have a magnet that closes it and here's the last pocket again I added I mimicked the front pocket except for the trim because I kind of liked it without the trim and I added the pine cones here in the corner I added some photo mats uh, and then here's that little Santa like joy to the world or something like that maybe I should put joy here I don't know. I still have joy. I think I'm going to add it there. And then I just uh, did a couple of photo mats that I embossed. And I haven't even put the corners on these, but these are photo mats. This is like for a four by six. This is more like a, I think this is a four and a half by four and a half. And then I cut out these little ones again. There's two or three in here and just put a ring through it with a snowflake and a little tassel for more photos. Uh, for the back, let me leave these out. No, actually, I'll put them back in. This one's pretty long, so I have to kind of angle it or else it'll cover up my sleigh up here, and I don't want it to. And then this one goes here. And in the back, I didn't do anything. I just left it plain, so I haven't added my label. I haven't finished nothing on the back. Uh, and it does tie again with the ribbon. Like, this is, this is chunky, guys. Look at that. And it will sta stand up just like this when you tie it up. It will stay standing up just like this. But I wouldn't recommend leaving it like that. I would uh, put it in an easel or something. The back, even though this sticks up, this is also on heavyweight acetate uh, where it won't uh, get damaged. And then here is the spine to it. I did add another piece cut in the gold foil to finish it out. And then the back part is the designer paper. All in all, guys, I love the way this ended up, but um, I think ju I just kind of uh, took on a little bit more than I should have because it took me a long, to a long time to finish it, but I hope that you like what I created. Thanks for watching. I hope everyone is having a great day, and God bless. Bye.